Okay, last week for our Thursday night presentation, we had a guest presenter, my friend Ray Oltian, came by and he did a presentation on using your Ubuntu Linux computer as a sound editing station and much more to work with audio. Now, Ray, on his computer, he recommended using Ubuntu Studio, and I'm here at ubuntustudio.org website where you could download the Ubuntu Studio. And one of the advantages of running it is that it's going to have a real-time kernel which will be able to, in a much faster response to when you're working with edio, ed audio for editing the audio and making sure that as you're capturing live music or playing live music that you're getting the kind of response that you need out of your computer. And you can see here for Ubuntu Studio that um, it's recommended for audio, graphics, and video applications. So um, now on this system right here, I'm running off a of VirtualBox right now. This is just a regular install of Ubuntu Meerkat 10.10, um, and it's not a real-time version. But we're still going to walk through some of the um, applications and discoveries that Ray made in um, converting his system to an audio workstation. All right, here's Ray's website. He's just made it. Um, it's a Joomla site. It's a new site. It's going to be changing, and he's going to be updating it. Um, it's trueeclectic.com. So uh, the word's true and eclectic. Dot com and um, if you go there for this lesson that we're doing and you go to art and go under music and then go to music downloads you can find some of the support files in here that we're going to be working with so um, yes all right use the drop down menu and here you'll see there's um, the uh, Linux DAW MIDI files sound fonts that you're going to need and some uh, rendered MIDI audio files too that you can uh, you can look at and use. Well, or you can upload your rendered audio files to that uh, directory. Oh, and Ray said if you want to uh, upload your rendered uh, MIDI audio files uh, once you're finished, then you could upload them here on his site and he would appreciate that and that would be good. Alright, so we'll recommend that. Okay, so to get right at it, what we're going to do is we're going to um, install a bunch of applications that will help our system work as a sound editing station. So I'm going to open up a terminal here and we're going to need some applications to work with. So I'm going to run a sudo app-get install and we're going to need VLC. Okay, so VLC and VLC is a uh, media player that you can use to play movies and sound files and all kinds of stuff. And let's take a look here. Pop in the password and hit yes, Y for yes, hit enter, and that's going to download the VLC media player. So we're going to need that. Okay, and after that installs, the next thing we're going to install will be uh, Jack D and Jack Dash Tools. Okay, so that um, installed okay. Now VLC is a good media player, but as an audio player, you might want to also think about, there it is installed right there, might also want to think about installing Audacity. So we could do an app get install Audacity as an editor, right? We'll take that, hit Y for yes and hit enter, and then we'll install the other programs as well. Okay, and for the specialized sound tools that Ray is teaching us last week in the um, how to use in the last uh, week's presentation, we're going to need, I did an up arrow, so I've got a sudo apt get here, uh, install, we're going to install jack d, and I'm going to put a space, and jack dash tools, and we're also going to need muse and Ardor. Now, some, some of these uh, are installed when you install Jack-D. Is that not true? Um, the Jack-D will install uh, the interface uh, QJack Control. QJack Control. The QJack Control is the graphical interface for Jack-D, but it'll be on, installed automatically by just installing Jack-D. Am I right? Let's see if we can run it just like that with those apps like that. Okay, I'll hit Y for yes and now it's going to install all these sound tools. Now Ray, what sound tools are we talking about? What, are, what, 
in an overview, what are these sound tools? What are these different components that we're installing? Well, the Jack D software is uh, an audio connection kit that will connect audio applications together. Uh, the Muse program is a MIDI arranger uh, or a MIDI sequencer that will take MIDI files and you can map sound fonts to those and then you can render the MIDI files into uh, analog audio. And uh, the Ardor package is the uh, arranger that will record the audio and allow you to edit the audio and um, add tracks and, and uh, build a, a musical piece, in fact. Okay, that sounds great. All right, thanks. Um, we're getting a message here uh, coming up from the Jack D. Uh, enable real-time process priority. What's your recommendation on that? Well, I would say no in this case because if you don't have a real-time kernel, you're going to have to turn off the real-time uh, function of Jack anyway. If you've got the real-time kernel, then definitely run it in real-time. But you can get by with the, the non-real-time kernel uh, just for demonstration purposes. Okay, so we'll do. We'll hit no, and it's going to finish the install here. And then, if everything goes well, we'll be able to launch these programs and start playing with some of these files. Okay, we got the programs all installed and now if you look up here in applications, sound and video, you'll see there's Ardour, there's Audacity, there's Jack Control, right? There's Muse, right? All installed. So that worked out pretty good. Now, the first tool we're going to try to see and make sure make sure it's working is the Jack Control. So open up the Jack Control and I'm going to minimize this window now. And the Jack Control, you're going to want to click first time you use it on the setup button and if you do not have the real time a real time kernel for your Linux operating system um, you want to uncheck real time so I did that I unchecked real time and clicked OK I'm using the default interface you can see here that the driver is set to ALSA and everything worked out pretty good because when you hit start you want to make sure that um, it doesn't uh, when you hit start you want to make sure you don't have any errors and the program quits out on you or freezes up on you and it looks like it started didn't it Ray? Yeah it started and then it's, it says it's stopped right now because the transport has stopped it's not actually rolling as far as playing or recording okay and you were saying that this jack controller is pretty important Ray because it can um, help as kind of an intermediary of controlling all the different audio devices. Right. It synchronizes the audio so that when you press um, replay on, on your, say, MIDI sequencer, it'll start the record in the Ardor Arranger, and it all happens simultaneously. Wow. All right. That's going to be a lot of fun. Um, okay. I'm going to press stop then, Ray. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to try to, to work with some of these files as if we were... Um, as if we were a home musician, right? Trying to uh, work with music and uh, write music and, and make music. Or plug, in a, a plug in a guitar to our system or what? Right. Keyboard maybe into our computer? Yeah. Record stuff? All right. So I went to your website, Ray, and I downloaded some of these um, files. And let me bring that up really quickly again. So if you go to, once again, to True Eclectic and you go over to Art, Music, music downloads and you go to this page you're going to use this this pull down menu and you want to grab some um, MIDI files to play with and some sound fonts that Ray has posted here for your convenience right and you just have to go through a few um, screens and press download and you can also search for these files online am I right Ray? Yeah there are tons of MIDI files out there that you can pick that uh, suit your taste in music and uh you have to open them and see what kind of sound fonts that are required to render that file though so you'll have to go out and search for sound fonts as well all right that sounds great okay so